fourth quarter about two and a half minutes left um like i said in my video previous video uh before I, i'm glad that this is the end of our season watching this game including the whole season uh it lets me know how much trouble we're in how much work we need uh we're almost i hate to say this but we're almost back to the drawing board um the talent is there uh, as far as the coaching staff and front office, uh, changes need to be made desperately. Um, I don't know if it's, I doubt Jason Garrett goes anywhere, um, but uh, if we can get a new offensive coordinator, a new defensive coordinator, just a new look in general um, uh, on those coaching you know, positions will probably be better for the team. Um, you guys might not agree, me, agree with me with this, but I still think Dez is... Uh, not an elite receiver, but a dangerous one. Uh, if coached right, if has the right playbook, um, he's his yards after carry is what his strength is. You know, if you just throw him the ball right, and get, uh, <clears throat> he can he's he's a strong physical receiver, and he's able to get those and fight for those extra yards. Um, I, I still like this. You, you guys, like I said, you guys might not agree, but. I, st I think Dak needs a little accuracy work over the offseason. Uh, he's thrown a lot of balls off target, too high, too low. Uh, he needs to have more confidence in his throws. He needs a really, really good quarterback mentor. Um, that's what Tony Romo gave him when last season. That's why he was so good. Um, the line needs to be looked at also. We need to, in the draft, we need to, to draft a tackle, somebody that, that will come in. Uh, for uh, Tyron Smith, if, Ty if, if if I don't know what his contract looks like, I really don't care right now. But uh, Tyron Smith is injury prone. He's uh, uh, he's has the perfect size for a lineman, but he stays hurt. And he's one of the best linemen that we got. But uh, his consistency is is a problem because of his he's injury prone. He can't stay healthy. So we need uh, the I believe, and I still stand by this, an uh, offensive. Juggernaut, a, a team starts. It starts with your offensive line. Uh, another thing that needs to be worked on in the offseason: discipline. Guys need to be held accountable for their mistakes. Too many penalties. Too many drop balls. Too many. Um, oh, Elliot trying to score. Too many uh, fumbles caused by the other team, but we're not getting down on them. Uh, we need to work on that too. Uh, just decision making in general. Uh, on both sides of the ball, um, like I say, it's players like like Witten and Sean Lee. Uh, Sean Lee's a beast. Uh, if he can stay healthy, he'll be fine. Uh, Sean Lee's our quarterback once again on the defense, and with him in the game healthy, you see what type of impact he uh, brings to the game. Um, Terrence William probably needs to go. Uh, as much as I had his back, he just needs to learn how to catch the ball with his hands. Uh, you learn that in Pop Warner, like I've been saying for a long time. They teach you how to catch the ball with your hands. A triangle, uh, tuck and look. I mean, look and tuck. That's just elementary, you know. I mean, <laughs> I don't see how he got this far by not being able to catch with his hands. Must not be too hard to make it to the NFL. Uh, but um, um, one, one thing I will say, congratulations to the Eagles for making it to the playoffs and, and getting that number one seed. But one thing I will say is be careful because you guys, <laughs> uh, with Nick Foles back there, you don't look too strong. I know a lot of your guys, your starters didn't play and things like that, but you, you, you're, you're starting quarterback that's going to be in the playoffs with you guys starting for you. Doesn't look too good, especially against our against the Cowboys, since we suck so bad, uh, he didn't look too good, you know. So <laughs> y'all might need to um, 
take heave of that, you know, focus on that. But um, uh, I can't say it was a good year. It was a horrible year. They trying to score. It, it doesn't matter. Horrible year for us, man. Uh, I'm just hoping next season, no off-season off distractions. Uh, hopefully some changes will be made in the front office, coaching staff, whatever. Uh, this this team need, really desperately needs a makeover, big time. We have very, very good talented in key places, key points of this team, but it's very hard to focus on that talent when you don't have the right coaches calling the plays and, and exploiting that talent. You get what I'm saying? Like Dez. Dez is, a, I still think, a great talent. He just not being coached right. Not There's no mentor. There's nobody to... Ah, uh, there's nobody to uh, to guide him, you know. Um, uh, we just, we need a makeover, man. And I, I don't know if it's going to happen in the draft. Um, like I said, we need some guys to come in and, and be dogs. Um, and we have a discipline issue. You know, just a lot of things I could go over right now, but I really don't feel like it. Uh, this game doesn't count. We're going home, so uh, it really doesn't matter. But... Um, I enjoyed watching football this season. I am a football fan first. Um, I wish our guys could have been in there, but I, like I said before, I'm glad that this was the last game because it would have been an embarrassment to take this team in, into the postseason and to embarrass us even more than what we already are. So uh, the Seahawks did us a tremendous favor last last week. Um, I just I feel sorry for um, for this team um, of what we've been through this year with the whole Zeke situation and suspension and no it, 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 we we don't know what we would have been with Zeke being in in the lineup uh, those weeks that we missed him uh, but but Zeke doesn't play defense so um, we just got some work to do guys uh, I'm glad it's off season for us gives us the time to really really focus so hard on um this this name right here really gives us a chance to realize who we are what we are what we're doing in the nfl what we missed another field goal we might need a new kicker too because <laughs> he just ever since he came back from that groin injury he just hasn't been the same so probably need a new kicker too like i say the season needs a a serious makeover and an identity we need to get our identity back because what I've seen this season and this game playing against our second and third string guys, it does not look good. A lot of people say, oh, we still got the talent. We still got this. Yeah, you know, and I've said it myself, but this is deeper than that. We need to find our identity first. We need to, we need to get disciplined and focused first before you can start on all that other stuff about you know, working on this, working on that. We need to figure out what Dallas Cowboy and the organization, we need to figure out what that means. All these young guys that's out here, they need to fill out, f figure out what it means to be a Cowboy in the history, in the five Super Bowls. The five. Like I say, this team we're playing against, they don't even have one. They're still fighting and searching for one. And where they're looking now, they might not get it. But uh, bless their hearts, they're still trying to get that first ring. But we have five. So it's kind of a tradition of us to... To, despite the 23-year absence from the Super Bowl, it, 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 back then it was a tradition us to tradition for us to be a winning team. Now it's just like, oh, we're the Cowboys, you know. But and that's that's all I got, man. I, like I said, I just hope we just find ourselves, find our identity, and uh, really look at in the mirror and and look at this season, look at film, look at what happened, coaching decisions. Coaches probably need more practice than the players. But that's all I got. I hope y'all guys have a safe and happy and blessed New Year 2018 coming uh, in a couple of hours. So, hey, guys, you stay prayed up because you never know what the day is going to bring you. Holler back at your boy. I'm out. And the only thing else I got to say is, how about them cowboys?